coach to be who used to hang with Jane. good with a do youtube family man it's your boy king your boy she loves king back here with y'all y'all see the title y'all see the thumbnail man i'm here to provide y'all with the top five designer sneakers y'all should cop for this spring slash summer for the 2024 year Stay tuned throughout the whole video i got some fire ass shoes i'm finna put y'all on i have unboxed like all of these shoes on my channel so if you ain't seen them videos y'all make sure y'all go tap in man some niggas wear different shoes in the winter compared to when they wear in the spring and summer y'all know the fits switch up in spring and summer it's hot outside different type of fits different aesthetics all that shit man so i know everybody be dropping them videos on the best five sneakers you should get for spring the best five sneakers you should get for summer the best five sneakers you should get for 2024 but has anybody specifically done the best five sneakers, the best five designer sneakers you should cop for spring or summer 2024? I ain't seen not a single one of them videos yet, so that's why your boy King here to provide that with you. Like I said, stay tuned throughout the whole video. I got some fire ass shoes, um, as y'all see in the beginning clip, man. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump right into it. Make sure you like, subscribe if you're new, and turn on your post notifications. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite sneaker in this video is. So I got all the shoes lined up over here on the flow, man. So if I leave the clips in and I'm turning to the side, pick them up, that's what it is. I'm grabbing the sneaks for y'all. Um, the first sneaker I'm going to go ahead and get into... We're going to start off with something light. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get the Balenciaga tracks, fam. These, y'all probably can't tell all the way, maybe. they These ones actually aren't completely white. Um, These are like the cream colored Balenciaga tracks. They damn near look white. They like an off-white color type shit. I mean, it got some like yellow accents and everything that y'all could probably see. But these... Are my cream balenciaga tracks man i have worn them a few times i love these y'all know a lot of people love balenciaga tracks right now and i am definitely one of them they are a bulky shoe i can say so wearing them in the spring or summer while it's really hot outside your feet gonna get hot gang your feet gonna get motherfucking hot i ain't gonna cap if you're wearing it for hours they can get annoying for some people some people think they're comfortable me personally i don't think they're the most comfortable shoe but i like the way they look um and as well these are the LED versions, so that's another plus. But you can't go wrong with a whitest looking shoe in the spring or summer just to have like a base colored shoe that you can wear with anything. So that's why I threw these in here. Again, everybody loving Balenciaga tracks. Um, these are the cream or off-white ones type shit. So I just feel like these are a good option for you to wear in spring, summer. To just have a natural base color you could basically put on with damn near anything, you feel me? So. That's why I threw these in here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get into the next one. The next sneaker I got for y'all is actually my gray Dior B30s. I actually have not worn these at all yet. Um, I just unboxed them and reviewed them and everything. But again, I haven't worn them yet. So that's why they look brand new because they are. These are like a solid neutral base color. Um, You can wear not with anything since they're gray. They're all gray. Um, Not with anything, but I just feel like they're a solid looking shoe. I mean, like I said, they're a natural, solid, base, gray color. You could put on some good fits with these, or if you just want, like, a lounge around shoe, I feel like these are good. They are really comfortable, in my opinion. I do have a pair of Dior B30s I have as well, y'all, that I feel like are a little bit more comfortable, but I just got the all black ones. There's other colorways. Um, if I had more colorways of the B30s, I mean, the B22s, I would have threw them in as well. Um, but yeah, I think these are the B30s. I always get them mixed up, bro. The B30s and the B22s. I'm pretty sure these are the B30s. You know what? I'm going to look it up real quick because I literally always get it mixed up and I have to look it up every single time. Every single time. Okay, no, these are the B22s, y'all. My bad, y'all. So yeah, these are the, the gray Dior B22s. Like I said, solid, neutral base, gray color. They are triple gray. They got some gray right here these are reflective the darker gray materials that y'all see right here those are reflective i just feel like this is a good shoe overall as far as comfortability looks um if you just want something not flashy not bright just neutral um just a vibe or if you just want something to lounge around and kick it with kick it with so 
Go ahead and go copy the Dior B22s as well. I'm gonna I'm add a little bit of color, a little bit of flavor into here real quick for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw in these Louis Vuitton trainers that I got. So I got these blue Louis Vuitton trainers. There are hella different colorways of these, no cap, but in my opinion, these are the sexiest ones. Y'all can see that color blue. These shits are hard. I still have not worn these. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got a pair of Bapes that are like the same colorway. I don't got no clothes to really go with this colorway. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm about to cop some soon. I do got a trip coming up in July as well. So I might try to cop um, some shit that I can go with that. It's gonna be hot where I'm gonna be. I'm coming to Florida, man. I'm coming to Orlando, Florida. So it's gonna be hot out there, I know. So I might try to find some fits I could throw in with these, take some flicks or something. But y'all see the colorway of these, the blue ones, the white, man. Throw some flair into your spring fits. The colorway is hard, it's real nice and vibrant. Um, low key, I feel like these would be a perfect shoe to wear on Easter, too. I know that don't got shit to do with like spring, summer at this point. We already passed all that, but like. Still, just saying, I feel like these are a great shoe, especially the colorway. They're real nice and vibrant, give you some color for your fits. And y'all know, just about any shoe that got like this exact type of blue colorway, they damn near go viral. You could put some shit on with any shoe with a colorway like this. If you could put that shit on, like, niggas go and fuck with it. You feel me? Like, I ain't never seen nobody have a shoe with this type of colorway whether it's these or whether it's the the blue and white babesters um or the off-white air force ones and shit as long as they really put that shit on with shoes with this colorway like i don't know i don't get it like this color blue is like a fucking it's a hack bro it's a fucking hack bro so these shits is fire in my opinion no cap like these is probably one of the my favorite shoes that i got in my collection right now if i'm being honest so Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and go cop these Louis Vuitton trainers, man. Like I said, there is other colorways. These are just my favorite. So, do your research, game. But these, they hard, bro. They hard. All right, and since I was just talking about the off-white Air Force Ones and that blue colorway, man, I'm going to bring y'all the off-white Air Force Ones and the University Gold colorway, man. Y'all can't deny this is like the perfect shoe to replicate a spring or summer vibe you feel me colorway is sleek um these are a hard shoe i ain't gonna lie i fuck with them the only thing i don't like about the off-white air force ones in general is the fact that they leave like i forgot what what you call that exactly the fact that they leave that right there i feel like they should just do the whole thing completely like a regular air force one besides the extra stitching and all that of course they should add the accents leaving that shit like that I, i'm like <laughs> you're doing too much you know nah, this colorway i feel like when you think about springtime or you think about summertime you naturally most people naturally think about something that's yellow or like a bright vibrant color or a bright gold color and that's why i feel like these perfectly replicate that kind of spring or summer feeling man like i was saying with the fucking uh the louis vuitton trainers i just showed y'all these off-white air force ones if you put that shit on with these and you post some pictures, just about everybody's pictures go up. Again, as long as you really put that shit on with these sneakers. I know some people don't really like them, but I think they hard. Um, but yeah, these, I feel like it's a perfect, a perfect sneaker. Y'all comment down below, let me know if I'm tripping. I think these are a perfect sneaker for a spring or summer, man. Like, you can't go wrong with these Off-White Air Force One University goals, man. And I ain't even gonna talk about these too much. Y'all see them, these the Lambins. Um, I wish I had another colorway because they got a lot of other colorways that are more colorful and I really want to show y'all them instead. I'm going to try to get some more soon. I got the black and reflective gray Lambins. They're not, the gray, the gray ain't reflective all around, but at certain spots, but y'all see these. So everybody going crazy for the fucking Lambins right now, or most people. One thing I can say about these, just like with the Balenciaga tracks, um, this shoe overall isn't bulky to me in my opinion. Some people think the whole shit is bulky. Now the fucking soil and shit, yeah, they are pretty thick. Um, but as far as like the actual shoe and shit, this part of the shoe, I don't think it's bulky. But of course the tongue, biggest shit. The tongue, bulky as fuck. So if you wear these for a long time in the spring or summer, your feet gonna get hot, gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um your feet might start hurting a little bit, low key. Unless you get some added soles 
support type shit. I'm not gonna say they're the most comfortable shoe to be wearing in the spring or summer, but style wise, boy, these is it. These are the ones, man. Like I said, there's other colorways. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this exact colorway for the spring or summer because they got a whole bunch of other colorways um, that got like mixes of orange in it. They got paint splatters on it, all that type shit. Um, that got a lot more of like usage of more vibrant colors and shit like that that I would actually recommend over these, over this exact colorway. But as far as lemons overall, y'all can't go wrong with the lemon curves right now. They're going, still going viral. Everybody fucking with them. Boss Man D-Lo still talk about it. In the song um all that shit so style points definitely a plus to have these for the spring or summer comfortability mm, i ain't wore these yet neither these are another pair of louis vuitton trainers these are the purple ones one thing i can say i love about these is that back number 54 i don't even know what the 54 stand for i don't remember i looked it up before and did research but i don't remember at this point like i said but that shit just hard it's just different to me it looked cool and it looked like a nascar racing font that shit hard nascar racing fonts are hard for just about anything you use you got the monograms the lv monograms all over the shoe my girl actually told me I should throw these in this sneaker, this sneaker video for y'all. Um, I wasn't gonna put these in for real, for real, but I was trying to figure out some more shoes to add some variety and shit. Cause I got like a lot of black shoes, a lot of white shoes, um, stuff like that. But of course, it's spring, summer. I wanna, I wanna show y'all some flavor too, not just my personal preference. No matter what, what month, what type of weather, all that type shit. I wanna show y'all some flavor for the spring and summer, cause it go with it. So she told me I should throw these in. Purple and white Louis Vuitton trainers, sleek colorway. These shits are flawless and they're comfortable. Like I said, I haven't worn them for a full day, but I did wear them like around the house a few times just to get a feel for them and everything, see what they was hitting like comfortability wise. And they felt good to me. Y'all know a lot of designer sneakers don't really feel that good comfortability wise, but these felt pretty good to me and just look at them like, I don't know what it is about about the Louis Vuitton sneakers. They kind of remind me just of like a uh, skinnier four type shit, like a longer, like long wise four, no matter what size. Cause you know four, these are a size 10 basically. A four size 10, that shit would look like it stopped right here still. But these just kind of look skinnier type shit. Um, and all that just longer and everything. But they remind me of fours low key or Mm, actually they remind me more of threes and fours but i just like the way that design looks and all the flares are white mixed in with that purple i feel like it gives you enough color blend and variation to step out with you could definitely throw these on with some purple uh clothing like a good ass t-shirt that got a blend of white and purple um and some good ass shorts or something and how you like a little great fit these are hard i feel like you should definitely add these to your spring or summer designer sneaker collection because shit look at them all right y'all so this is the very last sneaker i got on here for y'all bro for this video and these are my babies i love these so fucking much these are probably the most worn sneaker besides my dior my black dior b30 set i got back there that need to be cleaned up and shit these are probably one of my next worn my next most worn sneakers that i got um these are the bapesta black the bape stilo black shark face edition ones y'all see that shit i'm gonna set the other sneak down y'all see that shit just hard just sexy i know spring summer it's gonna be hot outside the shoe is basically damn near all black but just just look at the accents just look at the entire shoe bro i Honestly, I don't even know what to say about it for real, for real. These shits, each time I pull these out or just see them, I ain't gonna lie, I just get like mesmerized, bro. Like, I, I'm in love with these bitches, you feel me? Like, I'm in love with these sneaks, you feel me? And I don't even really know what to say about them besides look at it, and that's enough for me. I don't know about y'all. Y'all might say I'm tripping. Y'all might say I'm doing too much. I don't really care, but I love these shits, and I feel like these are a must have whether it's spring summer or winter fucking fall 
Yeah, I forgot fall the other season right now. <laughs> I forgot. These are the perfect shoe for any fucking season, bro. In my opinion. Y'all know, um, or maybe y'all don't know, Bape Stilos like these. Y'all can see the shape of the shoe and everything. They basically like Air Forces. So it's not like you're going to be super uncomfortable wearing these in the spring or summer. It's not like they big and bulky or none of that, bro. It's literally, the Bape Stilos are literally just like walking in a pair of Air Forces. I lie to you not. I got three pair of Bape Stilos. I got these. Um, I got some regular white and black ones. And I got some regular white and Carolina blue ones, bro. Or white and sky blue, whatever you want to call it. And they literally all are like... Air Force Ones, like, I'm gonna I'm grab the other ones real quick, and I'm gonna show y'all, matter of fact. I don't know why the fuck I grabbed two left shoes instead of grabbing a left and a right, so I can hold them up for y'all like these, but look. They're literally Air Force Ones. Literally. These shits are Air Force Ones. So again, you get you some Bape Stilos, whether it's these colorways, or the Black Sharks, or again, it's hella other Bape Stilo colorways, man. You basically gonna be stepping in a pair of Air Force Ones. It ain't nothing that you ain't used to, my nigga. It's not nothing you ain't used to already. So why not cop you some, bruh? These are my top ones, I ain't gonna lie. Out of all these, these Black Shark Lows, the Bapes of Black Shark Lows, and the Blue Louis Vuitton trainers that I showed y'all, they would be my top two out of this entire video, no cap. Y'all let me know uh, which sneaker y'all like the most out of this whole entire video. Um, and again, bro, like, if y'all want to, comment down below. I did one, you know, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did seven different shoes in this video. I know I labeled the top five, but fuck it. Um, but I showed y'all seven different sneakers. Y'all label them in order in your comments down below. Label in order your top one through seven. You feel me? One being the best sneaker you like out this shoe. Seven being the wet, the worst snooker. Fuck. Seven being the worst sneaker I put in this fucking shoe video. I see I've been yapping too much, making this content for y'all. This I've been making videos back to back for y'all today. So yeah, it's been a little minute, man. So <laughs> clearly I need to get off this shit, but I hope y'all fuck with the video today, man. Again, comment down below. Um, like I said, drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I hope y'all fuck with the video, and I'm gonna catch on some more content soon, man.